I'm not getting my deposit back. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my nursery transformation in this video. I'm not doing a tour, but I am doing um, me putting everything together. And so um, I'm first going to show you guys like a small haul of what I got for the nursery. I'm not going to show you the furniture and like the big items because I'm not about to hold that up. You'll see me put it together when I do um, clear off the rest of the nursery. So I'm going to just jump right in. You can see I have a crap. I don't feel... I feel like I got a lot of stuff for the nursery, but at the same time, I don't feel like I got enough stuff to fill the room. So as I'm doing the transformation, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna split and make a target run. Stores I went to were packed, which I'm like, hello, it's a whole pandemic to other people as I'm in the store. But I felt so weird trying to um, film while I was in the store. So I was like, I'll just do a haul. So. I went shopping last weekend and I did some um, shopping today to get stuff. So we'll see as I put stuff together if it's enough stuff. But okay, the first thing I got is this photo frame from Target. It was $3. I was surprised. It's a four by seven photo. I was super thirsty. And as soon as I took it out, I put a pic. Ah! the ring light i put a picture of me and baby's dad we're so intoxicated in this picture but i love it it's just a really cute picture of us so i thought i would be vain and put a picture of us in the nursery and then i'm going to also get his ultrasound pictures frame i got these hangers from target they were 18 for two dollars which i thought was a good deal i did get some more i got two packs of these because I got two um of these because he has a lot of clothes he probably has more clothes than anybody in this whole house so with these but I guess I only got one and it was a three pack of like hangers with clips on them so like for outfits that you can put together and I really feel like I got two of these but I guess I didn't or you or it might be under all this stuff but like I said probably gonna end up back at Target before this video is over <laughs> I did get this basket that I'm going to put on top of his little cube organization thingy thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it yet. Most likely I'm going to put in, I don't know. I don't know. So far it's for decoration because I don't know what's going to go in it. We'll see. This nursery is just as much of a mystery to me as it is to y'all because I don't know how I'm going to put everything together. I got these, um... Three packs to go on touch LED lights. In the room, there are some built-in shelves and I want there to be light there. The lighting in my closet is trash. I do want to change out the light, but I am i don't know if I'm going to go that far because this is a rental and I'm not with that electrical stuff. So I might just change out the light bulb to make it whiter because right now it's ugly. I also did get like little random stuff because the theme of this nursery, why did I say that first? The theme of the nursery is like a dinosaur safari because that's just what it is. So I did get this cute little dinosaur rattle. I got it from TJ Maxx. It was $4.99. Okay, so last week when I went to Target, I got this Opal House peel and stick wallpaper because like I said, this is a rental. The closet lighting and the look of it is kind of blah because I mean, it's a closet. So I did get this peel and stick wallpaper and then I came home and started watching videos of people doing the wallpaper and they were like, yeah, I needed two, three, four rolls. And I'm like, what? And I had only got this one. And I was originally gonna do the smaller wall, but me being extra, I was like, what if I did the biggest wall in the closet? So I went back to Target today and picked up a second roll. And if I need more than two rolls, I'm gonna be pressed. But I got this Opal House roll. And they were only $34, which isn't terrible. 
but I'm gonna be putting it together by myself and these ceilings are kind of high, so. I also got another dinosaur. I have been looking for this dinosaur forever. I saw it on Target's website, but I could never find it in the baby section, but it was actually with the Carter's clothes instead of like in the aisle. So I did find it today and it's only $7.99, so cute. dinosaur i did get him like um a cube organizer i didn't get drawers just because i didn't see any drawers that i love ended up getting these you can't really see the okay there you go the colors of it that well i low-key hate red and but i don't know i just thought they were kind of cute for a nursery so we're gonna see how they look once i put them in the cubes and how they blend with the room i kind of feel like they're gonna clash but they're cute so we'll see we'll see i only got two of them because one they only had two so we'll see how they look i did get more dinosaur crap from target this was a a hooded towel and a regular towel this doesn't really feel like a towel it feels more like a blanket but these are cute. I think I might roll these up and put them in that basket just for like decoration. Also got these cute little washcloths for $4.99, which actually matched the, um, oh, backed up, which actually matched the towels perfectly. I got this cute Cloud Island crib fitted sheath. And I also got him a mini crib because I am putting his nursery in my closet. So I didn't want to have this overwhelming big old crib in there. So this is going to be a little big for the mattress that I bought, but I'm pretty sure I can fix it to make it to size. Oh my God. So when I, today is, when well I was November 1st, oh my God. It's November. I'm going to have this baby next month. Um. Anyway, when I went to Target earlier, you know, it was Halloween. I found the cutest. They had these little, like, yarn Christmas trees in the, um, I don't know what those, what, they have dust flying all over them. I don't know what that dollar section is called in Target. I always forget but look at these little yarn Christmas trees. Because he's a Christmas baby, I am gonna put these in his room. I just, it was, it's so random. And I guess it kind of matches cause it's like safari. So it's gonna have plants in there, but they were so cute and they were only a dollar. And they're like, they have little gold tree stands. This is so random and so irrelevant, but it's so cute. And they had these three colors, so I got all the colors that they had because I couldn't choose which one was my favorite. So I am gonna put those in his room. He's a Christmas, hopefully he'll be here before Christmas. I'm really hoping he's here before Christmas. I know you should keep your baby in till the latest, as late as possible or whatever, but I hope he's here before Christmas because I don't wanna be in labor on christmas i don't want to be hurting on christmas i just want him to be here he has christmas clothes so i hope he's here before christmas so that is it for the haul definitely have more stuff for the nursery this is just stuff that i'm throwing in there because the other stuff is too big to lift up and put on camera so you guys will see me put it together so let's get to clearing out that closet so that we can put the stuff in there at 12 30 in the morning I'm only going until one o'clock tonight, so let's see how far we get. So here's my closet. It is trashed, I know. And this is after cleaning it a little bit. It looked crazy because I did like this whole closet, um, like made it look cute and stuff a couple months ago. And then once again, it ended up just becoming storage. But I don't know why it's foggy. My bathroom's right there, ignore that. And I have the ring lights, like I said. Light in here is crappy, but yeah, so I mean, it's a pretty, I feel like you can't really, I don't know why I keep putting my hand there. I feel like you can't really tell, but it's a decent sized closet. I still have mess here, but I moved most of the stuff out. I'm about to put the rest of the clothes in the front closet and all of my other stuff, move it into my room. This is all the stuff that was on the floor. Like I said, this this is a lot that I have to do. 
in 12 hours but because it's 1 30 in the morning now all that i'm gonna do for the rest of the night is um take everything out i am gonna try to take these shelves down we will see how that goes because i don't know what it's gonna look like underneath but this is the wall i do want to do the wallpaper on if I can't remove the shelves how I want, then the wallpaper will go here. But I'm really going to hate the fact that it's going to be off center. So we're just going to, we're just going to see. We're going to clean out and see what's going to happen. So now, I'm out of breath. Now for the scary part, we're gonna see what we can do about these shelves. Like I said, this is a rental. So I am afraid because this part, I believe is attached to the wall. So we're just gonna start unscrewing stuff and see what happens. Hopefully I don't strip the screws and then go back in when it's time to. But at this point, the stuff I've done to this apartment, I'm not getting my deposit back. Okay, so that screw doesn't want to come out. So I'm, I don't have faith. I'm losing faith already. I really do not want this here. I'm going to see if I can at least just remove the shell because I mean if this is here it's there I'll hang the mobile from it but if I can at least get the shelf moved that's better. before if I could just get like these two hooks off then I feel like I could do a half wallpaper look and then just have that shelf there for like some type of decoration but these freaking hooks don't want to come off okay so I think I'm kind of just freaking out for no reason guys what what I'm gonna do is just put the wallpaper up to the border and see how it looks on the border I really didn't want to be like cutting in an exacto knifing all around like the little edges i've taken down as much as i feel like taking down i don't hate this being right here only because i'm doing a diy mobile and the crib is going to be right there so i can just hang the mobile right there so it does end up being not necessary but it's um what's the word i'm looking for helpful whatever not the word but whatever, so we're about to do the wallpaper and yeah, yeah. I did get the wallpaper from Opal House. I was really disappointed because they didn't have like the um, squeegee thing you use to like get the air bubbles out. I'm using one of the kids dry erase boards for school. Um, whew. I've used contact paper in the past and while i love the end result i hate the process i'm assuming this is going to be that on steroids let me know i'm not going to speak negatively this is going to go so well
I don't want this to be a super long clip, so I will come back when you guys, when I'm done with the wall. Guys, I'm so happy that I bought two rolls because I only did this much. Half a wall. Half, half of a half of a wall of wallpaper. And this is how much I'm left with. Like, no wonder it's only $30 Target. You're ripping us off. If if I were to have taken that all the way up, I would have probably needed three or four rows. Because now with only this much done, I mean, now I'm going to have enough, but like, that's BS. That's not a lot of wallpaper at all. Also, that was hell to do. You can see that it's not perfect. Like, I still have... That was weird how it just cleared up like that. You can see it's not perfect. Like, I still have to cut it out some more. But my main focus right now is just laying the wallpaper. I am done with this wallpaper. Um, it, it looks so bad on camera. But I like to have um, border wallpaper. I did mess up a few times. I got quite a few air bubbles, but you can't really see it because the wallpaper is kind of loud. I think what I'm going to end up doing up there is putting some... Did I already say that? Putting fake plants and stuff? I think I already said that, but if not, I'll probably say it again. See, it looks so much better when it's not zoomed in, but you won't be able to see the whole thing when it's not zoomed in. I do have... um from where I took the thing down. I do have some spots, brown spots from behind the thing. Luckily, I keep white um, spray paint, so I'm about to go ahead and do that now. super white now compared to the rest of the wall but they're gonna dry down and then look just as ugly as the rest of the wall color <laughs> so um i do still have quite a bit of energy so i'm going to put the cube organizer together and if i'm still awake after that i'm gonna put the crib together so much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So I may still get a um, dresser because this is where all of his clothes that weren't gonna be hung up was gonna go and I was gonna like put cute stuff on it. So we'll see. I can't believe how small it is. I bought some, well you guys saw, but I bought some bins to go in there and I bought some baskets I was going to put in there, but now I'm thinking the baskets won't fit in there at all. So, like I said, probably going to have to do a Target trip. So, I brought the chair in here that I'm going to be using for the nursery. I love this chair. I also found it on OfferUp for, well, I'll talk about more about that in the tour. But I need somewhere to sit to put this crib together. So, um, this is the crib. I'm also going to talk more about that in the actual tour video. But I'm so glad I got a mini crib because this is a closet. And I really thought that a big crib would have overwhelmed the space. And I feel like I was right because not even looking at it put together, it looks perfect for that um, space right there. So, I do have a little bit of energy left. It is 4 a.m., I think I did pretty good for starting. Um, I did start at the hall at 12 a.m. And this is only four hours worth of work. I cannot believe I stayed up till 5, almost 5.30 doing that thing. But it's 5.30. I'm about to go to sleep. I will wake up whenever I wake up and finish it. But I'm proud of the progress that I made. I got everything well just about everything out of the closet that i needed to get out i put that cube organizer together i did the wallpaper 
the crib is like 97 percent put together like my body just gave out of me and i have to go to sleep so i'm going to sleep now and it'll get done tomorrow good morning guys so i i thought i was gonna go to sleep i you see the crib is not finished so like my body literally gave out while i was putting it together i thought i was gonna go to sleep and sleep till one i went to sleep and my eyes popped open and i'm like oh i feel so well rested it was literally just two hours later and so i'm like no I, I should probably get more sleep than that so i went back to sleep and i woke up again and i'm like okay i know it has to be later it was only 8 30 so i feel good my body apparently just doesn't want to go to sleep so i'm about to get back to it and finish putting this crib together and doing the rest of the room for the most part figured out what was making my camera quality so crappy but i finished the crib and it looks so cute um i don't know what to do next i guess i'm about to just um put the rest of the big furniture pieces in here and then organize the clothes because it's kind of done like the big like i just had to build that and that so yeah <laughs> so i'm starting to get a little I'm starting to get a little confused on how I want to set up the room just because even though this is not a big chair it does take up a lot of space um, I might end up standing this up right I don't know it's starting to look a little cluttered to me it might not look cluttered on camera but you can see the whole room is starting to look a little cluttered I think it would make sense to put that upright. So we will see the first. So that's in there now. I'm gonna go wipe down the um the little nightstand that I have for this area, which is gonna be like my breastfeeding area, I think, or well, at least where I'm gonna store my pump. I know it's probably gonna change once he gets here because my bed is literally right there. But um for now I want it to look cute, okay? Okay, so guys, I laid the carpet down. This will pretty much be the end of the video because now I'm going to do the nursery organization and basically put in everything and you guys will see the final result in the nursery tour. I had to take a long break. Excuse the TV. I'm watching it. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching part one of the transformation. Now I'm just going to do, I don't know if I'll do a separate video for organization, but now I'm just going to go and do the last finishing touches and you guys will see soon.